So number eight here is kind of big. There's a lot going on in it. Um, I want to answer a bunch of conditional and or other types of probability questions here. Um, it's a little bit hard to read the uh, chart, so I labeled H for hardcover, P for paperback, I for illustrated, and NI for not illustrated. So, um, and you should be able to read all this stuff. So, I am going to do my totals, and I'm actually going to pause it, and they're just going to show up for you. So you can see I added up rows and columns there. Now, um, I'm also going to find the total number of hardback. I'm going to write that right here. So the total number of hardback is uh, 2040. And then the total number of paperback is 1570. I think we'll probably need that as we move along. So part A asks, what is the chance that an illustrated book is paperback? So that is um, P of a paperback, given that it is illustrated. You don't even necessarily have to make that jump, um, but for me it helps me see where I need to go. So I'm looking for an illustrated book and I want it to be paperback, right? So I am working this right here, right? This uh, column, because that's my illustrated one. So that total is um, over 1270. And then um, what I need to do is actually add, oops, add these two numbers. So I had 150 and 110. Um, and I get 150 plus 110, and then I divide it by 1270, and what that gives me is 20.47%. Next one is what the, is the chance that a paperback is illustrated. So, I need to, um, look at my total number of paperbacks. My paperbacks, boom, there's my total right there. So I'm going to put a um, over 1570. And then I want to know what the what's the chance that one of those is illustrated. Um, so I need to add these two because those are the two illustrated versions of the paperback. So I do 150 plus 110. I'm going to put it in parentheses when I type it into my calculator. Um, and that gives me 16.56%. C, um, I need the total number of, it says, nonfiction given illustrated. Nonfiction paperback, actually. So I need the um, total number of illustrated, which is going to be my 1270. So I get 1270 in the bottom. And then within that category, I want to know which ones are both nonfiction and paperback. So I'm looking at this category. Here's my nonfiction, uh, and that's paperback as opposed to nonfiction hardcover. So I'm using the 110. So I divide 110 by that. I get 8.66%. Next one's probability that one is illustrated. Um, this is probably one of the easier ones. Well, that's my total number of illustrated. Oh, I never wrote my um, my total here. A little line, line is thirty six ten. So that I can get that by adding these two numbers, or by adding all of these, or by adding all these. And it'd probably be a good idea to check that all of them come out to be that. Anyway, um, so I simply take my 1270 divided by the total number of books that I have. So I take 1270 and divide it by 3610. That gives me, what is it, 35.18%. Okay. 
Next one says probability of nonfiction and non-illustrated. Now that seems a little weird because I've got nonfiction here and I've got nonfiction here. I've got non-illustrated there. So what I need to do is kind of look at the crossover of those, right? This guy, this guy, and this guy. And that gives me this and this. So I need to take both that and that and add them. So I get 250 plus 880. I need to divide that by, in this case, I want to divide it by my total number. So I divide it by 3610. And I get um, 31.30%. Give myself a little extra space. Okay, so um, actually, so the last one says probability of nonfiction given hardback. So I've got my hardback here, which is going to be a total of 2040. So that's what I am going to divide by. Maybe I'll do this one right over here. So I do over 2040. And then um, my non illustrated, let's see, I've got non-illustrated here and here for the 2040. So you need to add 78250. So I do 7, oops, 780 plus 250. I'm going to throw it in parentheses. That gives me, the last one is 550.49%. Now, based on what we talked about in class, it might be good to add three decimals um, for each of these. Um, I obviously didn't hear I'm just using my key, so sorry, but on the test you probably want to include three decimals.